are traveling through the south on the Delta Blues Highway through Mississippi and tonight we're stopping in Clarksdale to stay in a grain bin turned tiny home. This is one of many bins, shacks, shotgun houses and rooms you can stay in at the shotgun bin. That's that's the lobby of the hotel we're staying in tonight. The Shack Up Inn has a really unique and interesting history. In the 1800s here in Mississippi, the cotton industry was booming and this plantation was set up as a sharecropping system. If you aren't familiar with the term, after the Civil War, during the Reconstruction era, many former slaves became sharecroppers and would work the land in exchange for uh, living on a plot of the land. So the situation did give them more freedom, but often they did end up owing the landowner more money than they were making from them. So it was a problematic system. There are a variety of shacks and different structures that you can stay in here at the Shack Up Inn, but tonight we've opted for our own little green bin tiny home. Let's take a look inside. The interior is all designed with recycled wood and tin. It has two bedrooms. Well, I guess one bedroom and one upstairs loft. Although, I don't know. Let's go check it out. Maybe it's a full bedroom up there. Hello down there. Howdy. I guess it is a loft. Wow. I'm like a little afraid of heights, but this isn't too bad. There is this giant floor to ceiling door. So it has a little loft area, but it is a full two bedroom. There's little windows to uh, the downstairs area. Yeah, it's cute. Mm-hmm. We gotta test the bed. Oh, a little firm. Oh. Yeah, this is a good bed. And the ceiling is really neat to look at. It's so interesting. Oh, I love the wood in here. Or is that, no, that's wood. Or is that steel? That might be metal. I don't know, but it's got a really cool look to it. It's a fairly small little bathroom, but it's cute. Oh, whoa. I just noticed that big ceiling fan right there. Yeah. That, that light is like an upside down wash tub. Yeah, that's great. I just noticed that those are all uh, part of a canoe repurposed as little shelves. And then there's the paddle, the, the oar. Like, is it an oar or a paddle? No one knows. This little, this little table is an old singer, yeah. That's really neat. Interesting, they just put a ruler there. I like this little, like little office station. All right, let's take a look at the other bedroom that's down here. That is a beautiful headboard. I really, really like that headboard. What do we have here? Um, That's where the fun happens. We'll just close that. That's creepy, I don't wanna see that. They should lock that. Oh, but that's a big fun closet. And it did have a light bulb in it at one point and now it just has no light, one hanger. Got a view of the highway out there. I love the look of the door, like, I love that they just left a lot of stuff as, as it is or as they found it. Hello, welcome to the bathroom. Holy toiletries. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, that's nice of them. We've got some towels down there and a hair dryer. Couple extra rolls of toilet paper. The shower is probably the least exciting thing of it all. But even it has reclaimed wood up there. It's probably all reclaimed tile too. There is like a pretty good, at least like half kitchen. I mean, it's got a huge full size double deep sink. This looks like it came out of like a restaurant or something. It's a pretty good sized uh, like professional sink. They've got a shelf where you could probably store dishes if you, you know, were staying here longer. 
They do have a few dishes and coffee mugs. I think the only thing missing that can make this like a real, like livable situation. It's like a stove. Yeah, it would be like a hot plate of some kind yeah. and um, a TV. A TV would help nice. long term. <laughs> it's fine for a night. Yeah. It's got, you know, complimentary coffee, got a microwave and a fridge. And for just being like a smaller fridge, it's not a bad size. It has a freezer. Does that mean you already checked the fridge without me? <laughs> well, now I have to see. All right. Oh, freezer. Yeah, freezer. It's separate. Yeah, it's nice. It's separate. I think what I especially love about this place is that no two rooms are alike. Every time that you stay here, you can stay in a very different, eclectic, quirky, different place. Did I say they're all different? Because they're all different. Well, we attempted to go check out some of the uh, interesting places here in Clarksdale, but sadly, we lost daylight and places started closing, so we got a little bit of uh, food to eat and we are back and ready to spend the night here at the Shack Up Inn. Thank you for coming along with us. Thank you to our patrons for supporting our channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, check out one of those videos right there. We'll see you soon, bye.